many of these are different. They're not all exactly the same. On this one, the headlight is down on the fender. Many of them, the headlight is right up here. On the front splash shield. Tail lights are not all in the same place either. There are certain practicalities of, of doing this. One is trying to drill a hole down through this into the down through the body would be very difficult and you you would very likely break the wheel off or something. So the trick would be to put the LED about right here. Because once the uh, LED is in, as you probably noticed from the photographs, you can't really tell exactly the detail right around where the LED is. It's too bright. For the uh, tail light, we'll just put, uh, we'll just drill around in this area. Now that has a ridge on it. That has some flashing on it. We'll have to uh, file that off so that we can start the drill where we want it to start. This is not even either. The motor is mostly on one side. Interesting. I don't know whether that's a Lamborghini, or, I mean a Lambretta, or a or a Vespa, Vespa that does that. I had a I had a Piaggio, but it wasn't a Vespa. And uh, the two the two fenders on the back were pretty even. This one, the motor sticks out on one side. Hmm, interesting. Okay, drilling. This is just a pen vise, standard pen vise. Let's see, we're going to file this off so that the uh, drill doesn't wander too much. I have an attachment for my Dremel that would allow me to put this bit in the Dremel. However, um, the Dremel is a little bit too violent for this kind of work. It doesn't hurt to drill to clear the hole every once in a while. And there's usually a bunch of stuff in here. It's worse on the ones that are the rubber material. It looks pretty clear. Maybe we'll clear it once one more time. Yeah, that looks real good. Okay, we have one hole drilled. Now this one. This one's always a little bit more tricky. Nobody would know, and it's not a, it's not a place that would look strange. It's actually a little easier to do it here because we have to fish the wires from here down through the foot um, footrest area. Now I'm not dead center but that won't really matter Okay, and the next hole has to go up. One thing I've learned is test, test, test. Make sure it's the right color. Make sure it works. Okay, that one works, it's white.
and you always have to have a resistor even when you're testing it so that's the white one this is hopefully the red one and this one came with a resistor on it I must have ordered it uh, 12 volts or something Let's see if we, what we get here. Yep, red. Much brighter, but we don't know what um, how many ohms that resistor is. The one I tested the white with was, white with was uh, 5,000. So that's that's a lot. Generally, uh, 600 to 1,000 is adequate. For, uh, for an LED to keep it from burning up, prolong its life a bit. Okay, I'm going to try this on camera. I don't know how well this is going to work. But uh, first of all, I bared these wires so that I could test it. And now I'm going to have to cut it off because uh, you can't fish those those wild ends. Now the next thing we have to do is fish these on through this tiny hole in the footplate, the footboard. There, we got them. Okay, now let's let's glue that so we don't lose it. Back off a little bit. I'll take my fixative. Um, my, uh, I'll put a squirt in there. Super glue accelerator in the cap. And then I will, uh, no, you can't see. I don't know how well you can see any of this. I'm hoping that it works. Unfortunately, these brushes, this brush that I'm using, cost next to nothing, a few cents a piece. So uh, if I ruin one, it's okay. Now let's see, did we get that glued in there so it can't move? Yeah, it's pretty solid. And it still needs to cure a little bit. Wouldn't hurt to test it again. Yep, we have a working headlight. Connection's not very good, but I'm sure it's the connection over here where I'm holding the wires together. Yep, we're good.
we can move on to the tail light. Now the red LED, besides being awfully big, I, this is the smallest smallest I have at the moment. I have some smaller ones on order, but once it's mounted, it, uh, it it'll be fine. Now for this one, I'm going to bend it over if I can find it. I'm going to grab it and I'm going to bend it, bend the wires back. Now you do risk breaking them off sometimes doing this, but it. Uh, You pretty much have to to get it in the right orientation once it's in the uh, in the scooter. Okay, so now we'll have to uh, cut the resistor off. We'll reuse that on the white one because I'm certain it's considerably lower than the one I used to test the white. The one I used to test the white is going to wind up on here, on this red one. Yeah, I think I got that off. I know it's already stripped, but um, I just have too much trouble trying to solder with a lead that short. Probably because I'm an untrained solderer or something. Okay. Let's see how we do with this. This is a little easier. Oh yeah, that was it. We're right in there now. I know it looks yellow, but it's on the camera, but it's actually red. So it still works, and it's safe to glue it down. Yep, it comes on. It's interesting, you can see the reflection off the part I sanded or filed on the back of the scooter. You can see the red, but the LED itself is so bright that uh, the camera can't pick it up. It just looks yellow. There's our little guy. There's one last thing we need to do. This uh, this paint. There it is. Clear orange, X26, Tamiya. What we need to do is put a little dot of this paint let's see if I can do this without making a big mess
The scooter we just completed goes about right here. For getting around under my tables, I use this. We need to check and make sure that the Fowler vehicles can get past it. I think they can. And I think that's why he's riding so far over to the side of the road. Ooh, it's close, but he got by. Him. 